Yuli getting his second start in as many days. Not the same lineup. And this one is hit out to left, and it's gone. A solo home run. Yuli Gurriel. His first as a Marlin. He crushes it to left field. Harrison a base hit. His first time, and this time pops it into foul territory. Gurriel is going to make the catch. He hung with that one. He was trying to get to a spot, may have overrun it, able to reach back and haul it in. Gurriel overran that baseball in foul territory down the right field line. He hit the warning track and at the last second said, oh, Lordy, I've got to go back to the right. He made the catch. The inning is over. Julie Gurriel to lead it off. Brian De La Cruz and Gene Segura here in the fifth against Hayden Wesneski, who's been good this afternoon. Gurriel left field. That's where the wind is blowing out. And it is gone into the basket. A home run for Yuli Gurriel. At just enough height, just enough distance. He is so good at pulling his hands in close to his body. And when you pull your hands in close like that, that gets the barrel right over the heart of the plate and helps you keep the ball fair. And the dugout loves it. This one a dribbler toward first, little indecision, backhand flip, and they got it. How about that? Behind the back flip for Guriel. Somehow Luzardo found it. There goes De La Cruz. There's a line drive into center field. De La Cruz will stop at third. Another base hit for Guriel. The Marlins are set up with runners on the corners and one out. Ground ball up the middle. Is it going to sneak through? It will. Here comes a rise, rounding third. He's going to score. Over two-third goes De La Cruz, an RBI single for Yuli Gurriel, and we're tied in the fourth. And Gurriel into left center and over the head of Profar. That's going to get to the wall. Gurriel is on his way to third. Relay throw will be late, and it's a triple for Gurriel. Amps it going, and that is a base hit the other way. Gurriel is four for four as Hampson goes to third. He's going to start a new streak right here down the line and it's going to roll toward the corner. Solaire's on his way to third and he's going to keep on coming. So is Guriel on his way to third with an RBI triple. There's a little fastball up in the strike zone. He gets out in front of it and hits the ball right down the third baseline right past the third baseman McMahon. That is back to back days with triples for Gurriel. He also tripled in last night's game. And a bunch two said Gold Glover who got the tag on Ruiz. What a great play by Yuli Gurriel to field it and find the speedster going down the line. Apply the tag and get the out. Yeah terrific play and I think Ruiz wanted to bunt this down to third but he couldn't because this was a riding fastball in on him. Bunted just a little too hard but nice play by Gurriel. Watch this stretch got him right on that hip. Everything's just that's why Gurriel. That's right. why Tully. Into the corner. One run is home. Here comes the second. Throw is not made, and Yuli Gurriel ties it up. Told you, got to get some base runners. Crowd getting into it. Well, it's the move of all moves by Skip Schumacher against his old team. Pinch hitting the right-handed bat of Yuli Gurriel. Two balls and two strikes. Two in scoring position for Schwarber. Right back to Garrett, knocks it down, looked home, but will take the throw to first, and somehow... Guriel was able to corral that one and reach back and get to the bag. That's as close to bang bang as you're going to get, so I don't know if it'll be overturned. After review, the call in the field stands. The runner is out. Philadelphia loses a challenge. A nine and an eight pitch inning. Stanton pops this one up. Guriel foul territory with room. And that's going to go right into the garbage can. How about that? He had the net and the trash can for backup. Boy, good timing. Look at the peak. All right. Now use everything. The net. <laughs> oh, beautiful. And yes, they've been scoring some runs. And yes, they've been playing some defense. That's right. 
Gurriel takes away extra bases in the Marlins are an out away from a win. Gurriel sat on the bench for eight innings. Then he comes into the ball game, doubles down the right field corner, and then he takes one step and a dive to make that play. As Gurriel sends one out. Quickest answers I've ever seen. Just like that, the Marlins take the lead.